I'm Mark Lehner and I'm here at the Great Sphinx of Giza on behalf of Dr. Zahi Hawass, helping him out um, on drilling that we're doing underneath the Sphinx. In, in, in our first uh, hole here will be underneath the uh, Sphinx's uh, left paw, the north forepaw of the Sphinx. And we're doing this to test for groundwater, which has risen dramatically in recent years to where it's possibly posing a threat to the Sphinx and the temples in front. A few months ago, the press uh, announced that the Sphinx is in danger because of the rising of the water table in front of the Sphinx temple. So Dr. Zahi, in collaboration with Cairo University, have done a series of holes to test the water and also in some cases out in front to pump the water to lower it and to try to protect the Sphinx. We did drill now eight drilling. It goes for about 10 meters under the Sphinx. One of them is just underneath the left paw of the Sphinx. And that drill goes underneath the Sphinx. This is the front of the paw, the Roman pavement. Here's our first hole, one meter from the paw, 320 from the back uh, claw, 285 to 290 from the very front of this toe. From four meters down, now you're getting a little solution cavity. And look at that, a nice fossil from the limestone, 50 million years old. But maybe that's where the water is going. Look how porous it's getting. And very yellow and clay-like. See this? Also is a good chance to test many ideas, many new age ideas, about secret passages and hidden chambers under this thing. So with the number of drill holes that have been done since 2008 and now here 2009 we continue, uh, it, it should be possible to put to rest all these theories that uh, some kind of a tunnel or chamber exists under the Sphinx. All these new age people, they used to fight me, say, give us one permission only to drill in the left pole of the Sphinx and to see if anything is hidden or not. We found nothing. And people can think that the myth of the Sphinx will be finished by this drilling. But I always believe that the myth and the mystery of the Sphinx will always continue. Actually, this is, for me, coming back to the Sphinx, uh, after 30 years of starting here with Dr. Zahi, we started our work together at the Sphinx, uh, really in 1978, 79, and so here we are 30 years later, still working here, and we haven't aged a bit.